faculty left double angle bracket faculty of food t e c h n o l o g y right double angle bracket department left double angle bracket technology of food p r o d u c e t s right double angle bracket discipline left double angle brackets annotation and hygiene in livestock facilities right double angle bracket lecture 7 left double angle bracket control of harmful insects in veterinary and stockbreeding right double angle bracket yesenkilova jorka judjanovna kand of agricultural science asoc prof Lecture Plan 1. Classification of parasitic insects 2. Insect control in livestock farms Equipment 3. Entomology Insects Insects have thrived for more than 300 million years, long before rise and fall of dinosaurs, very successful through evolution adaptation insects account for percent of the Earth's animal species. Which are insects? How do you know? Cricket tick mosquito fly grasshopper ladybug. Insect control in livestock farms currently, as a result of the changed economic, natural, geographical and environmental conditions, interstate trade and political relations, the complicated epizootic and epidemic situation, the task of preventing infectious and invasive animal diseases, including zoanthropinous ones, which are often carried by insects parasitizing agricultural animals has become more urgent than ever before. Animals and birds. Thus, some hematophages, in particular, and especially mosquitoes and ixodes ticks, are of exceptional importance as carriers of the most dangerous vector-borne infections. Therefore, in modern conditions, veterinary sanitation is becoming increasingly important. This is one of the important sections of veterinary medicine engaged in the development and implementation of sanitary measures in animal husbandry practice, aimed at the prevention and elimination of animal diseases, protection of people from pathogens of infections and infestations common to humans and animals, as well as ensuring the receipt of animal products and feed of high sanitary quality. In animal husbandry, veterinary sanitation provides for measures aimed at maintaining the well-being of the entire herd, preventing the introduction or removal of pathogens of infectious diseases from it, creating conditions that exclude contact of the pathogenic pathogen with the animal's body. Currently, 
veterinary and sanitary measures carried out on livestock farms, poultry farms, transport, the state border, meat processing and other enterprises associated with the production of livestock products, as a rule, are included in its cost price. In this regard, it is urgent to reduce the costs of veterinary and sanitary measures, due to the reasonable choice of disinfectants and insecticidal drugs, as well as the development of promising technologies for their use. Entomology The blowfly life cycle has six parts. The egg, three larval stages, comma, the puppy, and adult. 143 hours, 22 hours, 23 hours, 27 hours, 130 hours at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Each stage in a blowfly's life takes a known amount of time to complete 143 hours 3 larval stages. First INSTAR2. 2 NDINSTAR3. Third Insta. Classification of parasitic insects. Parasitic mites and insects represent one of the most numerous ecological groupings of the animal world. Parasitic connections with terrestrial vertebrates arose in them repeatedly and independently. Among arthropods, all forms of parasitism are found, except intracellular dot parasites are divided into ecto and endoparasites permanent and phase, macro and microparasites. Depending on the habitat on the surface or inside the host body, ectoparasites and endoparasites are distinguished. Unlike parasitic worms, the overwhelming mass of ticks and insects is represented by ectoparasites, external parasites, living on the surface of the skin, on the hair and feathers of the hosts. Endoparasites are found in many internal organs of vertebrates, but their habitation inside cells is not known. Arthropods are most often found inside the skin and skin glands, in the respiratory and digestive organs. Permanent parasites spend their entire life and reproduce without leaving the host's body. In temporary parasites, Periods of life on the host's body necessarily alternate with periods of free existence. In the case when parasitic connections cover only part of the life cycle and are replaced by a period of free existence, it is customary to talk about phase or periodic parasitism. Macroparasites include arthropods, helminths, and other multicellular organisms primarily on the basis of the relatively large size of their body. Microparasites include viruses, bacteria, fungi and proteus. The criteria for differences between these two groups, in addition to body size, may be the features of development and reproduction in the hosts, the lifespan of one generation, the immune reactions of the host, Chemical methods of limiting the number of insects. Among the known methods of limiting the number of flies, the leading one is the use of chemicals to kill insects, both on the surface of the body of animals and in livestock premises. 
To date, there are a large number of insecticides based on synthetic pyrethroids, neonicotinoids, etc. to control flies in livestock premises. However, repeated use of the same drugs leads to a decrease in effectiveness due to the appearance of resistance in insects 21 to 22. In this regard, the development of new, technologically advanced means, based on new insecticides to combat ectoparasites in livestock premises, and the preparation of schemes for the use of insecticides with different mechanisms of action, is an urgent task. Classification of parasitic insects. Parasitic mites and insects represent one of the most numerous ecological groupings of the animal world. Parasitic connections with terrestrial vertebrates arose in them repeatedly and independently. Among arthropods, all forms of parasitism are found, except intracellular. Parasites are divided into ecto- and endoparasites, permanent and phase, macro- and microparasites. Depending on the habitat on the surface or inside the host body, ectoparasites and endoparasites are distinguished. Unlike parasitic worms, the overwhelming mass of ticks and insects is represented by ectoparasites, external parasites living on the surface of the skin, on the hair and feathers of the hosts. Endoparasites are found in many internal organs of vertebrates, but their habitation inside cells is not known. Arthropods are most often found inside the skin and skin glands, in the respiratory and digestive organs. Permanent parasites spend their entire life and reproduce without leaving the host's body. In temporary parasites, periods of life on the host's body necessarily alternate with periods of free existence. In the case when parasitic connections cover only part of the life cycle and are replaced by a period of free existence, it is customary to talk about phase or periodic parasitism. Macroparasites include arthropods, helminths, and other multicellular organisms primarily on the basis of the relatively large size of their body. Microparasites include viruses, bacteria, fungi and proteus. The criteria for differences between these two groups, in addition to body size, may be the features of development and reproduction in the hosts, the lifespan of one generation, the immune reactions of the host, Cattle flies are the most common ectoparasites affecting cattle in warmer climates like Texas, Florida and Louisiana. Flies that cause irritation and economic loss include the house fly, the heel fly, the horn fly and the stable fly. Horn flies are very costly to control but cannot be ignored. Horn flies consume up to a pint of blood each day. Flies can be controlled or limited with the use of sprayers, dust bags, back rubs, ear tags and mineral blocks. Louse populations can cause problems amongst a herd, but are usually kept under control with the use of preventive measures and insecticides. It helps to keep areas clean and ventilated and treat immediately when lice are detected. The spread of lice can be quick so all newly acquired cattle should be checked and sprayed before being introduced to the herd. Winter months appear to have more lice infestations than the summer months.
the heel fly, also known as cattle grubs, have a major impact on the economic value of cattle. The adult flies disrupt the cattle while they attach eggs to their fur. The larvae then burrow through the tissues, muscles and eventually the hide, causing considerable damage to the meat and hides. Flies and chicken houses poultry operations have a tendency to attract lots of house flies. House fly levels must be maintained at low levels to prevent the disturbance of neighbors, humans. The best way to control house fly populations in poultry operations is by proper and concise manure management in order to rid a location of breeding material. Keeping manure dry or spreading it out on a field in a thin layer are successful ways of preventing fly breeding. Companion animals fleas and ticks can reach high numbers very quickly during the warmer months throughout the year. Both fleas and ticks are blood feeders that can cause anemia, paralysis and even disease transmission. Mosquitoes are transmitters of dog heartworm disease a deadly worm that moved from the mouthpits of the mosquito into the body of cats and dogs. The adult worm grows inside the heart and will lead to animal death if left untreated. Bibliography Management and Welfare of Farmer Animals U4 Animal Welfare Series Wiley Blackwell Methods to Analyze Agricultural Commodity Price Volatility The Production Technology of Functional Food Products from Raw Materials of Plant and Animal Origin Thank you for your attention. Consultations. Alma T. Reim Beck Ave. 348 Fifths, Building 2,208.